Whatever happened to happily ever after? Think about it. You'd read those stories to your kids and grandkids and at the end of every story, what happened? Everybody always lived happily ever after. If you think about it, retirement used to be a promise. You'd work for a company for 30 years. Then what? They'd hold a party. Then what? They'd present you with a gold watch. Then what? They'd give you a guaranteed paycheck every single month for the rest of your life so that you too could live happily ever after. So basically, unless you work for a government agency in the United States, you probably don't have nor ever will have that guaranteed paycheck for life. Tom Hegna is a dynamic speaker who brings his relentless energy and unmatched insights on retirement to each of his award-winning presentations. As an economist, former first vice president at a Fortune 100 company and retired lieutenant colonel, Tom has inspired thousands of executives and business professionals to take control of their finances and their lives. In over 2,000 seminars, his message has transformed the perspectives of countless minds, helping build safer and happier retirements. I want you to know that there's one best way for every person in the world to retire, and I'm going to share that with you today, and it's not my opinion. It's based in math and science. It's been proven by PhDs and physicists. You know, if we look at life expectancy, the average 65-year-old male will live to be age 85. The average 65-year-old female will live to be age 88. But look at this. The average married couple will have somebody live to be age 92. Life expectancy is not an average. It's a midpoint. It simply means that half of the 65-year-old men will die prior to age 85. What about the other half? USA Today had an article a couple years ago that said 50% of all baby boomers believe they can take out 10% per year or more in retirement. <laughs> well, you can. You're just going to run out of money real fast. The Wall Street Journal had an article. Wall Street Journal said 2% withdrawal rate is bulletproof. What age should I draw my Social Security benefits? You know what the Council of Wise Men will tell you? 62. Get it out of the government as quick as you can, haven't you seen? This place is going bankrupt. Get it while the getting's good. 62, 62, 62. That's not the right answer. We need to have the right answer. What's the right answer? The breadwinner should delay. If you're the breadwinner, how many lives does Social Security cover? Two lives. Two lives, not one. So if he takes his at 62 and gets to reduce Social Security, what did he just do to her? He just lowered hers too. See, the breadwinner should delay till 70 if they can because that's going to cover two lives. Because when he dies, which Social Security check does she get? She gets his. If he takes his early, look what he just did to her. Tom is the author of Paychecks and Playchecks, Retirement Solutions for Life, consistently ranked the number one best-selling retirement planning Kindle book on Amazon.com. He has been featured on FoxBusiness.com, the Small Business Advocate Radio Show, Forbes.com, and other top business media outlets. If we watch TV, what is the media saying? They're saying, we're going to have this big inflation explosion, right? And your clients, they're out buying their gold and their silver and their guns and their bullets and their water and their toilet paper and toothbrushes and they got some concertina wire and a shovel because they say it's going to be bad. Why do they say it's going to be bad? Well, they say it's going to be bad because we have been printing money like we've never seen printed in our lives. What we're seeing right now is inflation in everything you owe, like food and gas and medicine and deflation in everything you own like real estate, and they called it a toxic combination. You wanna help them retire the best way based on math and science, the first thing you gotta know is what do they need to live their normal retirement lifestyle. And then that amount has to be covered with guaranteed income. Now what counts? Social Security is a SPIA. Social Security is a lifetime income annuity. It's a guaranteed paycheck for life, that counts. A pension is a SPIA. It's a lifetime income annuity. It's a guaranteed paycheck for life, it counts. But whatever that gap is on what they need with the basic expenses, that has to be filled with a lifetime income annuity. Income annuities offer features others can't. High cash flow, uncorrelated to market returns. Retirement alpha, had you ever heard of retirement alpha? Retirement alpha in the form of mortality credits, which only life insurance companies can manufacture. No other investment vehicle, none can rival the income annuity for retirement security. What does that mean? It's the only product in the world they can buy that will guarantee they will never run out of money and pay them the mortality credits necessary to guarantee that they'll optimize their income. 
Well, then what do you do with the rest of the money? You optimize the portfolio. You optimize the portfolio. Well, how do you do that? Well, that's where your stocks come in. That's where your variable annuities with guaranteed living benefits fit in. That's where commodities, oil and gas and silver and gold. See, I would argue that what you need to do with the optimization is have your eye on inflation. Here's why. If you've got their basic expenses covered with guaranteed income, what happens if we have deflation or Great Depression? They're fine. They're fine. They got a guaranteed paycheck and the expenses keep going down. They're fine in that scenario. What's the real risk then? Is inflation. So when you optimize the portfolio, optimize with your eye on inflation. Because here's what happens. If we get inflation, this portfolio is going to go up. When this portfolio goes up, what do you do? You take profits, you buy more guaranteed income. Markets go up and down when they go up, you take profits, you buy more guaranteed income. Markets go up and down when they go up, you take profits, you buy more income. What are you doing there? You are laddering their income to help protect their income against inflation. Their portfolio is protected against inflation. If you have deflation or depression, they're fine. No matter what happens in the economy, if you follow this simple two-step approach, they're fine. Audiences love Tom Heckner's simple real-world commentary, consistently providing highly rated evaluations and praise such as sharp, crisp, and to the point. And please have him back every year, bringing together his magnetic charisma, thought-provoking research, and objective financial solutions. Tom empowers organizations and their constituents to retire happily ever after.